Good morning, happy Friday. It's Tim in the woods or Woodland Tim or whichever way round you'd like to put it and it's a beautiful morning. It's uh, been a very, very intense week, very intense. Probably one of, if I'm honest, one of the physically the most intense weeks that I've ever encountered on record energy wise. Now on Monday, probably remember if you if you follow in my talks regularly, you could um, remember me talking about this new light platform that we're working on. And as the days have kind of rolled on over the course of the week, it's become steadily more apparent just how intense this new light overlay is. Now we've had all of this, the, this these new sources coming in all of these kind of upgrades in ourselves, all of this very, very intensive kind of shift. The, the, the shift catalysts kind of being almost beamed directly into our four body systems, our chakras and everything. But this came in at such a level and it was over the Easter weekend, funnily enough. It was, um, it was about, it, I became aware of it and I'm sure all of you did as well. We are going to be, and probably are still at this moment as you're listening to this, experiencing physical symptoms. Okay, I've, I've, I've seen other people posting about it. Uh, and by physical, I don't mean just the kind of normal, you know, I'm feeling a bit dreary, I'm feeling a little bit kind of bogged down. I mean, I'm talking like headaches, neck aches, back aches, kind of skin sensations and when this occurs, when we get this very new, it's, it's almost like when you update a computer, when you update the operating system on a computer, you, you punch the program in and the computer upgrades. It's like, say it's like going from iOS 10 on an iPhone straight up to iOS 14, providing the unit, providing your phone can cope with that upgrade there's no issue with it. All of a sudden you've got a phone that's operating at a much, uh, with, a, with a much bigger program. You can do different things with it. You've got different gifts, you've got different messaging service, etc., etc. But we are human beings and it's still in physical form at the moment, or masters in human form. And from what I can gather, from what I can feel from my own personal experiences that we have just been, we've just had our operating system dialed up <laughs> very significantly so what why has this occurred and what we are doing with it well, funnily enough it coincided very much and and this comes with a don't try this at home kids warning because um like, i think it was last week i had a, i'm as you probably know i'm always pushing for me personally it's within my personality i'm always kind of like looking for the next the the higher the, the, liar, the higher light upgrades, the bigger light quotient, the, the, the greater connections, because that's just in my nature, it's what I do. I seek out what is going on around us, experience it, and then report back. And a lot of the time that's ahead of the, that's ahead of the game so that I can, I can provide a platform, a working platform with how to navigate it. And so this coincides, bear with me. What I did is I spoke to Archangel Metatron and now I've been steadily raising my light quotient above 100% for quite a considerable period of time now. But I just kind of, I was feeling good one morning, like, hey, yeah, I go get, get to it. And I casually dropped into conversation, Archangel Metatron, do you think it would be possible to raise my light quotient so that it vibrates between 150% and 200? Now, I know this is all numbers, but in actual fact, all I'm doing is saying like, you know, could you, can you put another quarter on top of what's there already? And it's almost like you could, you could almost hear him like, you know, how sometimes tradesmen will kind of suck air through their teeth when they're just about to give you a really horrible bill. It was a little bit like that. There's a bit of silence. And he went, well, yeah, if you're sure kind of thing. And, and because I was busy at the time, I agreed to it, went over the top of my head. And the next thing I know, I'm completely poleaxed. And, and this kind of coincide, <laughs> coincidentally or not coincidentally, synchronistically coincided with this huge download of light that we received over the Easter weekend. So I've been feeling 
really physically challenged myself and and you know okay i challenged myself because i give myself these things to do but this was a step beyond it it was almost like i had to completely step back utterly stop everything that i was normally engaging with because it simply wasn't working the way that it was previously and just gently and very slowly re-engage with this new operating system now whether this has just happened to me because i've called it in or whether it is actually a collective situation remains to be r remains to be seen but i have a feeling that it is a collective okay so all of you in harmony with this new light will now be being pushed through a gateway that is probably a little bit above your well you know maybe well above your comfort zones this can manifest physically it can manifest emotionally mentally or all of them simultaneously because what it does is it anything that was previously comfortable anything that was settled anything that would become or not not humdrum but but you know a fluid way of doing things all of a sudden we are presented with a platform that we have to relearn to use at a higher level but once we've done that it then serves us at a much higher frequency so it's like taking big steps up each time this is where i believe we are at the moment all of a sudden we've got this new working platform but how do we engage with it okay now i was told very clearly to just cease listen to the bird song listen to what my heart was saying listen to the vibration of the planet and and re-engage this higher platform with love okay now one thing that i'm seeing a lot of at the moment is due to this very high light coming and this this intense upgrade a lot of people are being triggered it's it's, it's creating an emotional explosion it's creating states where mentally people are not comfortable uh, and this is this isn't just on a spiritual level this is in all of society so they're they're reaching out they're lashing out and this this is kind of it's almost like the matrix the old 3d matrix that we were once plugged into kind of reaching out to defend itself i think we're all in a state where <coughs> we are really quite far down the road with the part of where we have unplugged okay we've unplugged from the 3d matrix we can see exactly what it is what it's doing now every time light comes in at this level we can see everything that is out of alignment so very clearly it's it's almost like i've been asking myself the question over and over again how did i not see that previously how was that not visible and it's simply because we were vi we were vibrating at a level where it wasn't so obvious if you think and i used this analogy the last time when the sun reaches noon and it shines downwards you it's just pure daylight <laughs> you know everything everything has is is absorbed with this daylight there is you know like the the, the shadows get absorbed into you everything is just completely lit up and I'm feeling that is where we are now. And every single day that passes, the light gets notched up and notched up and notched up a little bit more. This is triggering our survival instincts because now we are beginning to see a very clear indication of what we have to do on a, on a light worker community level and an individual level to unplug from the system and actually take decisive action as to where we are going to be going within the future. There's a very, indica very interesting indication of this last night. I did, um, I did the, uh, the, the Zoom on, on kind of upgrading the financial systems with Carolyn Bennett last night, and there was a very mixed reaction to the information on there. And some people feel that <coughs> where we are going with the the kind of the electronic side of it and the, the the say for example the cryptocurrency that it's all kind of under dark control and what i know a lot of us out there at the moment are looking for a quick fix or a quick 
response or answer to the solutions being presented, but there is no quick fix at the moment. What we are doing is we are rebuilding at a higher level. And it's a good indication of where people are actually on the kind of like the, the, the triggered survival level as to how we are responding to the things that are presented to us around us at the moment. The way I see the future is particularly over the next couple of months or so, we are going to be really asked to stand in our own sovereignty, in our own power and start making mental preparations for how we actually continue to survive as, as, as a growing, thriving light community when we aren't plugged into that matrix. It's, it's, it's a very interesting place to be at this, at this present moment in time because in order to unplug from this very oppressive 3D reality that we've, we've willingly moved away from, we then have to say, well, we are no longer dependent on that system. Okay, and that then provides us with a complete cornucopia of questions like, how do I do this? How do I do that? If that's not provided for me, what do I do with it? And so this, this, is, the, this is the rumblings. This is the beginnings of our new society because we are ingenious creatures. We are masters in human form. We've done this so many times on this planet on other planets, in other star systems, in other dimensions. I think if you if you look back through your soul records and where you've come from, you've, you've probably all had a very strong hand in the ascension of other planets before you came down to this one. This one is just particularly unique because we're doing it in a very, very short space of time instead of over over hundreds of years. I mean, normally the process that we're going through at the moment would be longer, it would be drawn out, it would be a gradual process. Other planets and systems and civilizations in different dimensions that have stepped above the benchmark of polarity have always taken much longer to do it. We're doing it in a space of 18 years because it's an experiment, we've agreed to do that. So everything is rushed, everything is being kind of cracked out to this very kind of finely tuned plan. If any of you are feeling at the moment that it's chaos out there and that things are happening beyond our control, if, if, if you're feeling like, you know, there's, there's, there's no method within the madness, the, now is the time to completely step back and take some heart-centered space for yourself. This is what I'm doing as well. It's just in between it's, it's sometimes it's as light as as light workers doing the job that we're doing, earth workers, warriors, whatever you want to call yourself. There comes a point where we occasionally have to just sit back and take a bit of time off duty. Okay, yeah, and and I know that it's very difficult to do once once you're tuned into the the momentum of this. It's we we've we've got a very effective tag team going at the moment. If one or two of us or a group of us step back because we need a breather other step forwards and take the place. There's, there's, there's a, a very effective working system in place and it's all harmonious, it's all fluid and it's all natural. So my Friday message to you today would be give yourself some real quality time over the course of this weekend, whenever you've got the opportunity to do so, to investigate and to integrate with this new light system, this new matrix that we have around us. Because I know I covered it previously, but you know, like the, these things take, these things take some getting used to. It's not just a case of it comes in one night and we wake up the next morning. It's like, oh, that's nice, isn't it? You know, we're, we're all used to it. This one is a real step up. And so with me, I got, I've, <laughs> I've uh, hand on, you know, I've, I've, I'll always be the first to admit I got clobbered. So because I've, I said, right, give, give me everything that's coming in at the highest level, I'll assimilate it uh, and, and everything. And I really did have to look after myself. It's, it's given me the opportunity to do things. I've given up caffeine and I've given up sugar, which I'm very proud of myself about because those are the two things that I kind of like because 
I'm always on the go kind of thing. I'd always be, I'd, I'd be reaching out. I'd, I'd grab the thing that gave my body instant energy. And all of a sudden, because I've integrated this light at a higher level, my body's rejecting it. And it's not just a small rejection. It was like, thou shalt not put that in your body anymore. So, the, the, and this is an indication that we've taken in a load more. So you might be feeling and finding this at the moment, if this message is resonating with you, if all of a sudden you're, you're having to make adjustments and you're having to make changes, or the people around you are shifting how they are responding to you, then this is an actual fact, it's a good sign. It means that you've, you've stepped up, you've stepped up into this energy, but the reality around you has to readjust to your vibration. Now that's a very important point that, that I'm, go I'm going to make as we're kind of concluding this this morning, is that when you step through the gateways that we have just done, everything around you has to shift and alter. And this can be quite, it's, it, it can be, it can feel and sense quite, it can be quite disruptive because it's, it's not necessarily, it's not a, it's not a pre-given that the people around you will respond nicely to this new vibration. Sometimes people that are are struggling with their own stuff, they're, they're, they've, they've got their, their own stuff, they will attack what appears to be a light source because it is no longer resonating with their vibration and their fields. So just take everything very gently, very slowly with yourself. One thing that I think and I, I, I know is very, very important is engage your reality with love okay if it's coming from a point of anger assimilate it alchemize it and don't release it until it is of a love vibration what you put out will come back to you it will come back to you very very quickly if you engage your reality with love with peace with heart-centered kindness that is immediately how your reality will reform to respond to you the faster our vibration moves around us, the, the higher this frequency, everything bounces back. As within, so without. As above, so below. Everything that we do and we engage with is immediately reflected. So if you've got stuff going on within you, if you've got turbulence, take the time out. Do the work. Okay, now this is, this is a, a lot, <laughs> some of the things that that you know we, we we seem like we are permanently working at the moment we're permanently digging our shadow stuff out <clears throat> we're constantly having to work on ourselves now more so than ever we are being called to look within what are the internal triggers what is maybe prompting those survival mechanisms with us what is what's rattling our cages and then just engage with whatever that is with love Watch it alchemize, watch it disintegrate, watch yourself and those around you move into the higher frequency. You are the light leaders, okay? You are the beacons that are bringing and anchoring this new reality in. So if you are an anchor for this new light and you are feeling pushed at this moment in time, like I have been, then give yourself the time, the grace and the space to just lovingly integrate that energy. Because if I'm gonna be blunt about it, if you attempt to engage with this reality with anything less, it will bounce back. It has a tend it, it's until we are operating on that vibration and on that platform, the, the, it's not synchronous, it will not operate smoothly. So the more fluid we are, the more relaxed we are, the more heart-centered we are, the less distracted we are, by everything that's going on in that 3D matrix, the, the easier and the, and the more in flow the, the, the everything will be. And I know this sounds like a spiritual cliche. I know it's very, very difficult to do this when, when we're being kind of triggered and when we're being pushed all the time. But literally, if it's doing that, step back, breathe, just bring that loving energy back into alignment with yourself. And when you feel centered, step back out again okay so i hope that i hope this information has been useful for you i'm 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 kind of getting used to it as we're going along as well i mean we had years and years on the ascension pathway where we had the same
platform to learn from, to deal with. And the difference is what we're going through at the moment is every single day, something's different. It's all upgraded. We've got new energies to be presented with, but this is so remarkably different from what we had two weeks ago that it takes navigating. It takes that little bit extra time to just blend with, to learn about. So give yourself that time and space, okay? From the centre of my heart, sending you all loads and loads of love, and I hope you have a beautiful weekend, and I will be back on Monday. Bye for now.